everyone welcome back to the omni studio series um, mr kumar and today we are going to learn about the conditional block which is part of group in integration procedure so uh, we are going to build something like this right so this is uh, coming from the apex code uh, it's just simple if else if and else conditional blocks and this is something that we are going to build in ip like how we can achieve this uh, this is not an error i will show you like why i have i have written this country two time as a us okay so let's get started with your first example here go to the integration procedure tab and click uh, on the new and then create one new ip uh, and we are going to provide the ip name is like ip group conditional block and we are going to provide the same into type and subtype hit the save button and then we will try to mimic as as i told you right uh, so to understand it better what i'm going to do is like i will utilize the set values and here um, i'm going to say country if country is us and then one because we cannot keep uh, the same name for twice uh, right, uh, for the elements so us2 and then we will have india we don't need one here then we'll use twice one more canada and then at the last uh, we are going to create the other if country is other okay so first i will show you uh, what happens if i execute it so we can understand like how it is going to work and how we are going to understand it okay? so if you see this um debug response you can see this that us1 to india canada and other all of them got executed okay so what we i'm going to do here is i will have one parameter or variable first i will go with the us here okay and then in uh, ip every element or every action and group have something called execution conditional formula okay so if the condition given here is true right then this particular step will get executed okay so same thing i will do here here conditional and then here okay and i'm not going to provide anything in the other okay so let's go back and let's hit execute okay so this time if you see uh it got executed uh let me check back let's go let's see if all of them got saved correctly or not okay so yes this got saved this got saved okay let's go back and let's see what is happening here execute i think it was just matter of uh, time it wasn't get saved uh, but if you see this now this time two of them get executed us us and the other because uh, in other we didn't define any of the execution criteria so no matter what we provide here it will execute um, the other right so now if i execute it will just execute india and other okay but we don't want this right what we want is uh, if this is true then none of the uh, further steps should be executed at all right so to do that i'm going to utilize the group called conditional block and uh, block or groups are something that don't have actions for it themselves right so they are just kind of container and whatever actions we provide there they all of the ex actions get executed okay so what i'm going to do is i will move actions one by one here okay i move this this and this and if you see this right uh, this block itself have the execution conditional formula as well right so if you 
if you want to execute this block on certain condition you can control and then you can provide your sub condition here as well right so let's go back and let's hit the preview now okay so it's still uh, the response is same right india and other right but logically the idea would be uh, once this is executed it should not execute what is next right so to do that there is an, a checkbox on your conditional block when you select the conditional block you will see a checkbox called is if else block okay now this will be treated as if else okay so if i click on execute now so you see this only countries india get executed okay if i do the us right so the first one will be executed now the second one okay you see us one and if i put something which is not there then the whatever step we have as a last will be executed so this time only other will be got executed right so one more thing that i want to show you is that if i have like other two okay and without conditional formula okay this is getting saved let's hit the execute so you see this only other got executed the reason being in when you check something only one step will get executed right the next step won't get executed so your flow came here here and this point right and because of this uh, we didn't define anything this step got executed but now the next step won't get executed okay so this is how it will be if i uncheck it and if i click preview execute right the other and other two both will get executed so this checkbox uh, is quite important uh, when you really want to implement something like if else uh, right so that's it uh, for this video and please do subscribe the channel if you haven't see you in the next session thank you bye bye